It's been going like that for an hour. He's down in that corner. The beginning of an epic battle which saw him land this monster. And it just took me, well, basically, for a right merry dance. <laughs> I couldn't really do much with it. In two hours, Daniel Sibley was dragged neck deep into the water by his enormous opponent. I lost my depth and I was doggy paddling at some stage while I had the rod in my hand, just keeping contact with the fish. I just thought, when's it going to tie? When's it going to win? But it just never seemed to tie. It was constantly taking line off the reel, even though it was, I'd say, the best part of 200 yard out at some stages of the fight. Daniel and his friend Aaron had been fishing unsuccessfully for carp for two days at Bluebell Lakes in Northamptonshire, where they'd been camping. The tackle they were using usually catches fish between 15 and 20 pounds, which makes this story all the more remarkable. I was that, that knackered from playing the fish, I was just exhausted. Like. To be fair, I was a bit scared, and so was Dan, and uh, he, he might not say that, but he did say to me, he said, I'm a bit worried, like, and he did. The 108 pound fish, which is eight stone, measured nearly two meters long and is thought to be the third largest caught with a rod and line in the UK. And I held it up right and it got some water for its gills and once it revived it swam away as healthy as it before it even took the bait, there was no harm to the fish whatsoever. The two worthy adversaries went their separate ways, Daniel's fish being released back into the wild to fight another day. Perhaps they'll meet again. Luke Rahan, BBC East Midlands Today, Leicestershire.